Bible. Sir, a Jew has been causing trouble in the temple. You cannot serve God and money. If the disturbances that took place today are repeated tomorrow, I will shut the temple immediately. Destroy this temple and I will build it again in three days. He threatens to destroy the temple. We remove this man and the Romans destroy him. Execute. Yes. The life of one peasant. The future of God's nation. You are there to regret this? What have we forgotten in a week? Where were you? You were supposed to be his brother. I failed. Now I can't ask him to forgive me. It's 50 days since Passover, the day Jesus was crucified. Now thousands of Jewish pilgrims come to Jerusalem for the festival of Pentecost. Any sign of Jesus follows? No. I see them, they've all gone back to Galilee. Do you? Just make sure your men are ready. If they return, you have to deal with them. I cannot call upon the Romans again. You're here, brother. This way. We must be careful, though. They're watching us. John, I'm glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again, Stephen. Matthew. What form will it take? When will it come? Jesus said all we had to do is ask. I have been asking. Every day. The Holy Spirit will come when the time is right. I think we should pray together. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Bitte ruft ihn! Welche Wahl? Uwe Arez! Attacks! I don't have silver or gold, but what I have, I will give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, rise up and walk. Line beggar. This way. There, sit down. Get down. Don't move. How many have they turned today? You think five thousand? Five thousand. acceptable to preach in the name of a dead heretic. Jesus isn't dead. He lives. He was executed. He is dead. This man walks today only through the power of Jesus Christ. Really? He has been lame since birth. Yes, I see. You are not allowed to speak of this beggar or your dead messiah from this moment on. It is the truth. 
We have a duty to speak it. Guilty! Guilty! I have a duty to our temple, to our nation, to our God! I also have the law. I have the power. And I have you here. You will be silent. Or you will be silenced. Take them away. Right. Come on. We're not afraid of death. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You can all be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. He was crucified, but he rose from the dead. Impossible. Don't listen to him. Why do you resist Jesus? He is your savior. The way to everlasting life. Jesus is dead! And you will go the same way. Blasphemer! No! Jesus is alive. They tried to kill him, but they failed. He is a true prophet. I'm a messiah. What do you know about the prophets? Your prophet put himself above the law. This boy knows nothing. I know the scriptures. Really? And you'll know Deuteronomy. Because he sought to entice you away from the Lord, your God. Your hands shall be the first against him. And you shall stone him with stones until he dies. Paul of Tarsus. Yes, High Priest. That incident today could have started a riot. He was a heretic. He was trying to lead our people away from God. He got what he deserved. It was the will of the people. Was it really? Perhaps you and I might serve the people's will together. I could flush this scum out for you, but I need help. What do you need? Men. Money. Letters of introduction from you. Malchus? My servant is at your disposal.
Let us eat. We have less to receive. Brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus, on the night of his betrayal, took bread. And when he'd given thanks, he broke the bread. Welcome, friend. Please, sit with us and eat. Trust me. I am not your friend. Take them! Where did they go? Suddenly no one's talking about Jesus. I don't believe they've just given up on him. So, where are they? I don't know. I swear. I don't know why they run from me. They should be grateful and saving them from God's judgment. Do they even care about God? No. They abandoned God to follow this dirty, uneducated scum. God! Lord, Ananias, 
Go to the street called Straight. Ask for a man they call. Paul of Tarsus. Paul? But he beats us. He arrests your followers everywhere. I have chosen him to proclaim my name to the world, to the Gentiles, their kings, and the sons of Israel. Go. Who's that? Who are you? Speak! I am one of those you want to destroy. came to my house. No. No. No, don't leave me. Oh, don't leave me. Uh. I am Ananias. Baptize you, Paul, in the name of Jesus Christ. For he has chosen you to change the world in his name. Tarsus has recovered from his blindness and joined the Galileans. I'll find him for you. And then? Will I have to send someone after you? No. Let them go. As Gamaliel said, if this is man's work, 
it will not succeed. If it is God's, we cannot fight it. Still many keen to stamp out Jesus' followers. Bring him out! The disciple James, brother of John, has been captured by the authorities. afraid of death. None of us are. But Thomas is right. We can't speak of Jesus if we're dead. Travel safely, my friends. John, I know it is hard to part from the people you love. But you are not alone. You never will be. Driven from Jerusalem, the disciples become missionaries, apostles, spreading the seeds of a new faith far and wide. further than Paul. He converts hundreds across the Mediterranean. But his previous life as a persecutor haunts him. Paul of Tarsus. And we know who you are. I mean you no harm. I have friends in Damascus. You paid them a visit. You meant them plenty of harm. I've changed. I was blind. Now I can see. I did what I did because I was certain I was right. That I knew what God wanted. As you are certain now. But then Jesus came to me. 
Not in righteous anger or in judgment, but in love. And without love, we are nothing. Love is, is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It does not boast. It is not proud. It keeps no records of wrongs. It, it, um, it rejoices with the truth. It bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. When everything else disappears, faith, hope, and love remain. But the greatest of these is love. What is your name? Luke. Come with me, Luke. I can't do this alone. Preach your word throughout Judea. That is just the beginning. There are many across the world who will want to hear you. Without you, it's just. Open up in the name of Rome. Answer it. Remember. The door is open. You must come with us. Centurion Cornelius wants you. angel came to me and told me to find you, to listen to all you have to say. Please, save me. I'm just a man like you. It's Jesus who can save you. Come. I, Peter, baptize you, Cornelius, 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Cornelius is the first Roman to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome. Come with me, all of you. Everyone who believes in Jesus receives forgiveness in his name. Everyone. Peter, come with me, and I will make you a fisher of man. What are we gonna do? Change the world. The disciples take the gospel to the world's great cities. Antioch, Corinth, Rome, bringing hope to the oppressed. I bring good news that will relieve your suffering. News of a great teacher, Jesus Christ. Open your hearts to Jesus, and you will have everlasting life. The preaching of a new kingdom threatens those in power. Brothers and sisters, We rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance creates character. Character. Christian tradition says all the disciples die for their cause. Peter is crucified in Rome, upside down. Matthew is killed in Ethiopia. Thomas in southern India. John is poisoned in Rome. Oh, they're coming for you. Take these. Something must survive. It's not me, it's my words at least. Go, go. Good fight. I finished the race. Can I get the faith? Paul is beheaded by the Romans, but his words live on. His letters form nearly half of the New Testament. But the final chapter is yet to be written.
The Romans failed to kill John. In frustration, they exiled him to a penal colony in Greece, an island called Patmos. Dalam Kitab Suci, Allah menyatakan bahwa Al-Masih akan datang untuk menjadi juru selamat dunia. Kehidupan Isa membuktikan sesungguhnya ia adalah seseorang yang diberitakan oleh para nabi. Nabi Yesaya memberitahukan bahwa seorang perawan akan mengandung dan melahirkan seorang anak laki-laki. Berabad-abad kemudian, kelahiran Isa merupakan penggenapan nubuatan tersebut. Kitab suci menyatakan bahwa kelahiran yang kudus itu akan dinamai anak Allah. Ini berarti Isa akan disebut anak Allah di dalam pengertian rohani dan bukan jasmani. Kita melihat kenyataan ini melalui kehidupannya. Ia menyembuhkan orang sakit, mengampuni dosa-dosa, membawa kembali orang kepada Allah, dan menjanjikan suatu tempat dalam kerajaan Allah yang kekal. Ia menyerahkan dirinya sebagai tebusan dosa, dan bangkit lagi mengalahkan kematian. Semuanya sesuai dengan rencana Allah. Isa berkata, Tidak seorang pun dapat mengambil hidupku daripadaku. Aku memberikannya menurut kehendakku sendiri. Kehidupan Isa tidak hanya menggenapi tulisan para nabi, tapi juga meneguhkan kebenaran firman Allah yang kudus. Para nabi menyatakan, Firman Tuhan itu sempurna. Firmanmu kekal ya Tuhan. Isa sendiri mengatakan, langit dan bumi akan berlalu, tetapi perkataanku tidak akan berlalu. Isa datang untuk memberikan hidup yang berkelimpahan. Akan tetapi ketika manusia tidak menaati Allah di Taman Eden, itu berarti manusia memilih jalannya sendiri, dan tindakan itu memisahkan dia dari pencipta. Kitab suci menyatakan, semua orang telah berbuat dosa, Dan upah dosa adalah maut. Ini berarti kematian rohani terpisah dari Allah selama-lamanya. Akan tetapi sebagaimana Allah menyediakan domba jantan sebagai pengganti anak Abraham, demikian juga ia mengirimkan Isa, Sang Almasih, untuk mati menggantikan kita. Kehidupan, kematian dan kebangkitannya memulihkan hubungan antara Allah dengan semua orang yang percaya kepadanya. Sekarang semua orang yang mengikut Isa tidak saja diampuni dosanya, tapi juga diselamatkan dari hukuman Allah yang kekal. Mereka dijamin masuk surga dan tinggal bersamanya selama-lamanya. Adalah kehidupan ini serta pembebasan dari kesalahan dan kuasa dosa yang Isa tawarkan kepada setiap orang hari ini. Tawaran ini tidak berarti mengikuti satu agama, tetapi memilih untuk beriman kepada Isa yang berkata, Aku berdiri di muka pintu dan mengetok. Jikalau ada orang yang mendengar suaraku dan membukakan pintu, aku akan masuk mendapatkannya. Ini berarti berbalik kepada Allah dan mempercayai Isa untuk masuk ke dalam kehidupan kita, mengampuni dosa-dosa, dan menjadikan kita pribadi yang sesuai dengan kehendaknya. Tidaklah cukup untuk mengerti Isa hanya dengan akal kita saja, atau dengan suatu pengalaman emosional. Kita menerima Isa berdasarkan kasih karunia melalui iman sebagai suatu tindakan kemauan. Isa berkata kepada para pengikutnya, Domba-dombaku mendengarkan suaraku. Aku mengenal mereka dan mereka mengikut aku. Untuk mengalami hidup yang berkelimpahan yang dijanjikan Isa, maka para pengikutnya berbicara kepada Allah setiap hari, melalui doa dan membaca firmanya. Tuhan memberkati dan memelihara engkau. Kepadaku telah diberikan segala kuasa di surga dan di bumi. Karena itu pergilah dan jadikanlah semua bangsa muridku dan baptislah mereka dalam nama Bapa, Anak dan Roh Kudus. Dan ajarlah mereka melakukan segala sesuatu yang telah kuperintahkan kepadamu. Dan ketahuilah, aku menyertai kamu senantiasa sampai kepada akhir zaman. Amin.